probably since um, the minute after the game last year, because uh, that's that's a sick feeling, and I'll never forget that game. And um, you never know what could have been, and uh, you know you you kind of think about that, but um, you know it's it's not a great feeling. But I know me personally, and I know every guy on the team has been looking forward to this. They've had this date circled since the game last year, so. Um, there's a lot at stake. You guys are so used to being the hunted. Uh, do you feel a little bit like the hunter of this game? No. Um, I don't think it will ever, being in Ohio State, feel like that. We do have a lot of respect for them. They're a great opponent, and they've had a really great year. And um, yeah, they're ranked higher than us and everything, but I don't think we're ever going to feel like the underdog. Um, we, we always feel like if we're prepared and um, if, if we're the better team, we have the better players and the better coaches, that we will uh, we'll always pull it out. So um, we do have a lot of respect for them, and I don't want to discredit them in anything they've done because they have a great body of work. But um, I'll never feel like an underdog here. Other than the game, what all did you guys lose that night last year? Um, I mean, I guess I guess it kind of made you realize that you know you weren't world beaters. We hadn't lost in a long, long time. So. Um, you know, you can kind of get comfortable with winning week to week and week. Um, and it just kind of makes you realize, you know, you know, maybe I could have done this better, maybe I could have done that better. And you just have to take everything seriously. Every rep matters in practice. All the film you watch matters. Everything matters. How you take care of yourself, your sleep, how you hydrate through the week, like everything matters. And you just kind of think of, you know, what could I have done better? Because, um, you know, th that game came down to a couple of plays last year. What does it feel like for you guys as an offensive line? You've made strides this year. Does this feel like a, with what they do defensively and as good as they are defensively, a, I don't know, a final exam, so to speak? Or do you find a little bit more about where you guys really are at? Uh, yeah, I think it'll be a, a really good test of, of where we are because um, I definitely think we've improved throughout the season. But the, you know, the few tests we've had, we haven't played well as a unit. Um, being Virginia Tech and Penn State, uh, you know, th those were some big tests for us as an offensive line, and we didn't necessarily f perform well. And while I do think we've improved a lot and we've grown a lot as a unit and as uh, individual players, I think this game will be very telling of, um, you know, where we're at as an offensive line. Taylor, how, how much of a challenge is a guy like Julie Calhoun? Um, I've been looking forward to playing against him all year because I know for, for me personally, it's going to be a challenge and a good gauge of where I'm at as a player. Um, you know, we we have guys of similar body type to him, but um, you know Joey's not necessarily like him. Steve's not necessarily like him, and to be able to go against a guy like that for a full game is going to be a good gauge for me myself. And um, I'm excited for that challenge because I remember playing against him last year, and he was a really good player. And I'm sure he's only gotten better. So um, you know, I'm sure he's going to cause some problems for us on offense. And um, I'm looking forward to the challenge of uh, going against him. Does he compare at all to anyone you've ever faced before? I mean, other than himself, I guess not really. <laughs> um, body type wise, I didn't play against him personally, but when they had Golston a few years back, I know Jack and Reed played against him. Um, but I mean, he's he's long and athletic, and um, you know we don't. You know, maybe Jalen Holmes, one of our freshmen here. Not necessarily the same caliber player yet, but um, similar body type. You know, he's fast, athletic. He's a natural pass rusher. He's got long arms. So, um, you know, for him having long arms, that's going to be tough for an offensive tackle because that's usually our advantage is long arms. So, um, I think he'll uh, he'll definitely be a, a good challenge. Hey Taylor, you said losing to them was a sickening feeling, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think that you were like to be around the next few days after that game? Um, I don't really remember completely, but I was probably kind of mopey because, like I said, you never know what could have been. Uh, you know, there was a lot of implications online, and you know they definitely took some stuff from us. So, um, like I said, I don't remember exactly, but I'm I'm sure it wasn't pleasant. I definitely wasn't in a in a good mood. Uh, waking up the next day is a lot harder when when you don't have a win. Does it feel like the stakes are similar this time around? In some ways, I mean, I know the the, the difference obviously yeah. in a postseason game, but yeah, I mean, this I mean, this is our biggest game of the season, 
um, right now as it is. So, you know, if, if we win, good things could happen. If we lose, bad things could happen, just just like with any game. But, um, you know, they're, they're you know, top ten team. You know, we, we want to play them. We want to beat them just to show, uh, you know, show what we're capable of and show how good of a team we are because everybody, everybody knows that they're a good team. And, you know, maybe we haven't been tested uh, and some people feel that way. So I think it'll be a, a good gauge of uh, Ohio State football as a whole. You've got a very young team. You're playing next to a freshman. You've got a bunch of freshmen. Mm -hmm. so how ready do you think they are? Do they feel still like young players to you? I mean, <clears throat> after, the <clears throat> after the first game, they became veteran players. That, that was my perception of it. Um, baptism by fire. And uh, I think after the Penn State game, them being in that kind of hostile environment where, you know, it's it's us against everybody was really good for them. And I think that they're going to grow a lot from that experience because we're going into another hostile environment against a good team with good players. So I think um, I think that game and the fact that we gutted it out would be really it was really good for a lot of the young players um, to be in that kind of environment. And like I said, I think after the first game, they became veteran players and they're not, you know, necessarily rookies anymore. Taylor, we, we know you guys have a rival here. The way you're talking about, you know, the game, how it went last year against Michigan State, how much you guys want to play them, and, you know, mm -hmm. you guys are tied for first place in your division, that kind of thing. How does the intensity then of, of this week sort of maybe compare to when you're in Michigan week? Is there any, I mean, obviously they're both big, maybe for different reasons. Can you compare at all sort of the feeling of getting ready for games like that? I mean, we, we always handle our preparation the same week to week. And we obviously um, team up north week. You know, we got some stuff around the facility that we do differently. But um, our preparation is always going to be the same, and we're never going to take any opponent lightly. But, um, you know, I, I mean, yeah, they're both, they're both I, you know, I, I view them both as, as rivals personally. Because, I mean, we know, like, the feeling inside that you have getting ready for a game, it feels like the way you're talking about Michigan State, and, you know, uh -huh. the feelings you have right now seems like <laughs> yeah, pretty I mean, intense, you know, like I'm trying to find the context a little bit of could it could it be as intense as you feel inside getting ready for Michigan? Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's a there's a lot of history behind behind the uh, Ohio State team up north rivalry, so I don't think that you can necessarily say that that's on the same level. But for me personally, um, and the experiences that I've had here as a player. You know, it's I got a bitter feeling towards them, and because um, they 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 beat us, and um, luckily for me, I haven't lost the team up north yet, and I hope never to. But the fact that they, I feel like they took something from us. Um, I think that's driving driving me and a lot of other guys. Can you say Michigan State around here this week? You like to say those words? <laughs> you can say that, but. When we're talking about just the team up north, you can't use the state's name. Have you watched the game? film? Have you watched the film from last year's game? And, and what sort of feelings have conjured up when you see it? Yeah, um, that's actually the first thing we watched uh, yesterday. We started watching film on them yesterday, rather than. Um, I mean, we we did watch some of the game against Illinois, uh, just for corrections, but we already started watching film of last year's game because. You know, that that's what they used to, to beat us last year. So I'm sure that they'll go back to some things that they did in that game and some of their tendencies they had in that game. Um, you know, you don't necessarily want to watch a game where things didn't go your way, especially when they had for so many weeks prior. But, um, you know, I think that that's just a good gauge for tendencies-wise, maybe not necessarily personnel, because they did lose some guys. When you watch the fourth and two plays or anything, you guys could have done differently on that? I mean, it just all comes down to execution. I mean, if we would have executed, we would have, you know, got the first down, and they made a play. They executed better than we did. So, I mean, that's just that's just execution. That's all that is. I mean, I'm never going to go and say that I disagree with our coaches and what they did, because they get paid a lot of money to do what they do, and they're good at what they do. So. I, I had 100% trust um, that we're going to execute, you know, the plays we're going to, and sometimes you know other teams just are going to make a play.